I was to tell you there's a diesel M3 in this country right now, would you believe me? Well, here it is. Oh, dog. I'm riding a road, y'all. I think that I'm back in my... So today we're with Brandon. We're going to be having a look at his 330D. Sir, can you tell us about this machine? Yeah, so it all began with uh, LCR, BMW 330D. So we decided we needed to do a bit of a front end swap. I did know that BMW made a D3 and they made it in the E90. They also made it in the F30, but I didn't ever see one in the E92. So I thought, you know what? Why not do it ourselves? So that's exactly what we did. We decided to go with the carbon fiber front fenders as well. We just thought, you know what? I hadn't seen that around. A lot of people say it's Jap spec. It may be hated amongst some with the BMWs, but I thought, you know what? Let's go for it and see what happens. So that's what we ended up doing. And getting into the build, I didn't realize how in-depth it had to go as well, like how many parts had to change, including things like the fender linings even had to be changed. Had to change the front crash bar, so the bumper had to fit. We had to change the headlight mounts. We had to change a number of different things, even the side markers, the indicators, the washer fluid bottle, everything had to change in the car in order to get this front end on. So- Is that real cabin, bro? It is exactly. Finally, it is real carbon. Yeah, that is like one of the most commonly asked questions as well. Is is this real? Some serious carbon fiber action going on here. You got the nice D3 badge here. Tell us about this, and I, I think it's lowered. Is it? It's, it looks like it's lowered. Yeah. So basically, we decided when we were doing the front end swap, we could easily do just a normal M3 fender, but we wanted something to really stand out. Being a diesel as well, we did want to take it to that next level. So we thought, why not do it with the carbon fiber on the fenders then as well? So we got those imported, brought them through as well from the UK, slapped them on the car, you and the it really does make a difference. I see some Maxton here. Oh. Yeah, so on the side skirt extensions, we've gone with the Maxton design as well. Great company. Honestly, they've, they've done nothing but wonders for me as well. Every time I've needed anything, they've sent it straight out to me. So they slapped these on as well, and it just adds that, just a little extra bit of load to the car as well. Shibang. Now tell us about the brakes, any brake upgrades or anything? Or Yeah, so we've gone with the Brembo uh, drilled discs on the front and the back, and then also the Brembo Sport pads as well. So what, what type of power figures are we getting with this anyway? Because a lot of people, you know how the dyno fairies are, yeah. you know how the power heads are, do you want to know what's the crack with this? Like, what, what are we getting here? So basically the mods that we've done on the car, we started off with a straight pop. It's a three and a half inch down pop and a three inch uh, straight through exhaust done by Bishop's Exhaust in Dundalk. Um, I've had honestly great road work by them. They also have done my intake for me. We did that. We did um, an air intake filter. We've done the intercooler and hard piping kit. Um, a few other little mods that we've tweaked as well. Also boost works file and yeah, we should be close on about 400 horsepower at the moment. So it goes really well, as you're gonna see just now. Launch time. Oh, lads. <laughs> so in terms of the interior, any bits done here or? So the interior, we haven't really gotten to yet, but what we did do is do the M3 seats as well. So we did a change out. It is a full M Sport interior um, with paddle shift as well. So we have just swapped out the, and we put the M3 seats in. So they're memory seats and it's good enough, comfortable, nice drive. <laughs> So why this now? So basically I came from South Africa and I had a one series diesel there as well. It was insane car tuned by RK Motion um, and I used to run nitrous on everything. I had bottles and bottles of nitrous all the time and it was great fun. Um, ended up selling that off and got a 330D and F30 and also on nitrous, and we did a quarter mile in 11.7 seconds. And could have even gotten it quicker there, we didn't have enough time with the car, ended up moving over to Ireland. Always loved the shape of an E92, and what better way to do it, so do it right here. So ended up getting the 330 here. No nitrous on it yet, but don't worry, there's a lot in store for this car. We're so only much. just beginning. And there you go, there's the exact reason why he owns it. So can I also ask you, a lot of people want to know when it comes to cars like this, what's the, what's the economy like on it? The fuel economy, your, your overall expense every month, what are you talking here? So basically at the moment, 
when I got this car, my fuel economy was about 15 liters per 100 kilometers, was actually quite shocking for a diesel especially as well. I do notice that the three liters, I do get better fuel economy than I did with the two liters. Um, with this one here, after we mapped it, it's sitting in about 7.5, 8 liters per 100. So I'll be getting about 800 kilometers on a tank. Don't ever bash a diesel again, lads. You know why I have one, you know why Brandon has one. Yeah. So what's the crack with the insurance? Are they, are they robbing you? I know we, believe it or not, lads, this actually went viral on TikTok. We yeah. called it a learner car. Yeah. He said the insurance was about seven grand. <laughs> I don't know if people believed it. It was a yeah. mess. So let's disclose this now. How much does it actually cost? Okay, so my first car in Ireland was this one here on my own insurance policy and I was paying 2,800 euro. It was a little bit steep. Apparently I've been told that's quite cheap, but it is what it is. You know the country we live in. So in a year of owning the car, they dropped it from 2,800 to 850 euro. So that's what I end up paying now for the insurance on this. Jeez, what you have to do there? Do you have to go up and scare them or something? I'm gonna yeah, exactly. do the same for the GTD. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not actually too bad now owning it then. And have you had any major problems with it? Is there any big things to look out for when you're buying these types of cars? What, any advice you give to people? On the three liters, if you are going for that, there's not a lot of problems you have to look for. On the N47s, there, there's quite a lot, especially as we all know, the timing chains. But on the three liters, I wouldn't worry. There's a lot of good cars out there. You just got to look at the gearboxes, depending on if you're with an auto or a manual, some of them can vary as well. Deadly, deadly. Future plans has to be done. What have, you, what have you got in mind? Yeah, so basically we are looking at doing a lot more things with this car. I'm wanting, I've always been a performance orientated sort of person with my cars and moving to Ireland, the scene is slightly different here. It's a lot of stance cars, a lot of drifting and that. So we're going to have to try and do things both ways. So I am looking at- sideways. Sideways, <laughs> that is right. So I'm wanting to do uh, air suspension on it and then we possibly possibly looking at doing a pandem kit as well. So we don't know which route we're gonna go in entirely, we're just gonna do one step at a time and see how we get from there. So you said Boostworks mapped this. Can you tell us a little more, a bit more about Boostworks? Because believe it or not, Brandon yeah. from Boostworks is the guy that actually did the GTD and turned yeah. it into an absolute demon. So, so basically, you know, we started this company in South Africa. We moved it across here and now we're doing Boostworks in Ireland and we do all different types of vehicles, petrol, diesel, whatever you have, we can do it. So, yeah. Boost Nation, tell me about that, because this lad, Boost is in every part of his life. He has a community of insane cars. We've been there, we've seen the groups, we've seen the meets they've done, and the cars are just, it's, it's insane. They'll pull up to a petrol station for a coffee, and it's like a fucking car meet. <laughs> yeah, so basically, again, we started off Boost Nation in South Africa. A few of my friends, we got together, and we needed something to make a change in the car scene. We just wanted something a bit different, something to bring people together. And we thought, what better way to do it than to do it ourselves? Because if you want to see change, it all starts with you. So that's exactly what we did. And when I moved over to Ireland, Boost Nation came with me. It was only natural to bring it with. We started it here and it was all just getting people together. Groups of friends, meeting for coffees, going for runs, shows, photo shoots, videos. That's all we do. You know, it's all about getting people together. Whether you're a car enthusiast, you're just starting off, or you're an old boy in the scene, you know. It doesn't matter, we're all here together, we're all here for the same passion, so let's go for it, let's do it. Wait, walk us through the detailing, because it's very clean. Like, when I look at this now, I can see how much of a failure I am when I actually, when I look into the glass, <laughs> not the glass, sorry, the, the paint, which is amazing. Yeah, so basically, um, I'm sponsored by Tenzi. They're a Polish company. I'd say they are the European Maguires. They are literally insane, and all their products are literally second to none they are the best and i've i've used their ceramic coating on my car they also do a really nice top up it's called rls and literally every car shot i'll pull up spray it on and the car looks almost wet it is just immaculate any time of the day wow yeah i've used some of their stuff myself actually they sent us out a nice box of things on the gtd quick shine they have the ceramic the ceramic spray as well oh yeah and you'll be amazed at how cheap the products actually are as well mm -hmm. so cheap and the quality is just insane they got that snow foam as well it smells like cherry you'd nearly start drinking it so if you do buy it lads be careful with yourselves <laughs> and don't get yourselves addicted yeah. and what's the crack here with the exhaust i see is this stock exhaust is this custom exhaust yeah so basically we've got the four inch rear pipes coming out the back <laughs> Yeah, we, we've got the carbon fiber rear wing there on the back. Um, like I said, we haven't messed around too much yet on the back end because we were just wanting to see which direction we go in. So if we are going to do the pandem kit, there's a lot that needs to change as well. Mm -hmm. So we are still looking at changing a few things out there. So yeah, we've just kept on uh, the M Sport back and then just stuck on the, the rear wing. And there you have it, lads. 
some bus for one bus. Yep. Right, lads, so that's everything. As I said, this thing is some machine. I'm actually in love with it. And a lot of people think I judge BMWs because of the TikTok stuff. I, look, when it comes to BMWs like this, you have to have major respect for them. Um, all the links to what Brandon was talking about as well, it will be down below. And if you didn't already, go follow Whipstars. We have so much stuff planned this year. We're going to be doing giveaways. We've already given thousands of euro away from sponsors, from, even from Brandon. We've done a remap we've given away. We've done stuff from Bishops. Everything we talked about in the video, it will all be down below. Thanks so much for supporting. And again, big thanks to Brandon for doing the video. with us coming out taking his time out of the day to chat to me out of all people as well you know like <laughs> anyway have a good one lads peace i'm in a big lease so they don't miss me body like houston hey feeling like whitney yeah thanks very much for having us here as well lads go follow whip stars best in the business they're going to be sending out way more content competitions and all the rest so go give them a follow <laughs> Just too quick for it, peeling off like the whip orange. Seen the effort this piss poor. I got too much, I gotta tend to. Car payments and a rent due. Told y'all that I'm six foot, but with that's a bit ah. Can we hold hands and all? You know what? You yeah. don't even hold. View, clean money in a flat whip. Got old problems with the friends new. Yeah, I'm in the big leagues. Told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feeling like Whitney. Yeah.